And here's sunset on an intensifying tropical storm Mars, also known as Jingxing Internationally, located just towards the north of Palau, due east of the Philippines, uh, basically due east of uh, the Bicol region out here in southeastern Luzon. But it is tracking off towards the northwest, and we are continuing to see some signs of organization here i mean of course you got that spiral shape continuing to pick up but also got good outflow aloft off towards north convection really flaring up around that center of circulation and we're even starting to see a bit of banding with that low level center starting to kind of get right under is that peak of that convection all this combined you know warm sea surface temperatures means this is going to continue to strengthen and you see from Pegasus, you expect this to become a severe tropical storm and then yeah eventually a typhoon as we go ahead into wednesday and thursday off the northeast coast of luzon it's moving at a pretty decent clip right now to in a forward direction but once it smashes right into a front coming in from the north that is just going to um stall it out in its track but it also will do a few things in regards to um kind of the wind field it definitely is going to spread it out it's going to make this lopsided with a lot of shear uh so i do expect this still to potentially be a typhoon but definitely a broad range of impacts as it comes on shore potentially into northern luzon now there is one thing I found a little interesting here when looking at the guidance and kind of uh, seeing the forecast is that the sea surface temperatures look right here off the northeast coast of Luzon, all around the entire islands here, uh, above average sea surface temperatures, but one to two degrees below here, which could help kind of suppress its strengthening. Um, and that is because of the wake and the overturn. Uh, from Typhoon Kong Ray, also known as Leon in the Philippines, that came through and its weight kind of shook up the water here. So hopefully that does kind of limit the rapid intensification once this does start to stall out uh, just off the northeast coast of Luzon. But um, and that combined with shear kind of keeps the intensity down. So we're not looking at a super typhoon, but I think a typhoon cat one status um, definitely in the realm of possibilities here. And you see that here at the forecast from the Japan Meteorological Agency. Watch how it just races towards the northwest, but by Wednesday and a Thursday, it smacks this front with those northerly winds coming in, and that causes it to make that sharp left-hand turn over northern Luzon. And in the broader picture, here's our high-pressure ridge right in there. You've got your cold surge wrapping it around. And I'm emphasizing that and because this is definitely going to be a one-sided storm in the sense that the winds are going to extend well tropical storm strength away from that left side. But down towards the south, it's really, there's not much of a pressure gradient. So it doesn't have high winds. You're not looking at big feeder bands coming in with this one. Uh, definitely a, a, a two-pronged type of storm setup. By the way, I also see that low behind it. We'll get to that. Um, let's concentrate with the storm at hand. I the ECMWF keeps grabbing at that one. This is a closer look at what I'm talking about with impacts across uh, Luzon. And yeah, here a storm kind of stalls off towards the north and east, starts edge back towards the west. Gusty conditions well ahead of it Wednesday into Thursday. The worst of the weather likely happening on Friday for our friends here across northern areas of Cagayan, northwestern um, areas of Locos Norte, even across Region 1 of the weekend. We can be looking at those conditions still being rather messy and wrapping it around if this ECMWF plays through. I think the timing is the big question right now. Uh, this is likely going to move off here towards the west, but it's all about that timing and uh, but just about how um, – this is going to uh, interact with that cold surge coming in from the north and just about how much it does kind of swing around back here towards the west. So I will be here to keep you guys posted. I'll try my best. Um, so, yeah, let me know if you have any questions or anything like that. And if you want to support this channel, please do check out our Patreon link is down below. It goes a long way with helping us out. And, yeah, number one thing, of course, as always, is please... Stay safe out there, friends. I hope you're having a having a good day wherever you are.